once before at Garden of Madness, so most of you may not have heard it. But this is a this is a story of when I was a young girl, either and and I was traveling with my parents and my grandfather, and we had gone to Venice, and I was either um, seven and my grandfather was seventy-seven. Maybe I was 80, he was 80, I don't know, somewhere around there. Um, but uh, we were walking the streets and window shopping, and it was evening. And a large crowd of people went past, and after they passed, I looked around, and I did not see my mother or my father, only my grandfather. So I said, Grandpa, there's Mom and Dad. I said, up ahead. Seeing his grandfather walked at a slow and steady pace, it made sense to me that in fact they would probably be ahead. I said, come on, let's hurry up, let's catch up to them. Well, grandfather only walked at one speed. It was just the one speed that he walked at, and so he wouldn't hurry up. So we, I walked with him, and, and then we got to an intersection, a corner, and of course I didn't know which way they had gone. So I was a smart and sensible child, and I said, Let's stop. They'll notice we're missing and they'll come back and find us. But Grandfather only walked at one speed and he didn't stop either. So he kept going. So I had to go with him. I didn't want to stay and wait. They probably would have come back and find me, but then he would be lost by himself and we really should stay together. But I, am just, I was just a little girl. So, so we stayed together and we walked along. And I really wasn't sure if we had re tried to retrace our steps to get back to the main square in Venice. Because if you're in the main square, you kind of know where you are. And in fact, I, I knew where our hotel was from the main square. So if we could have gotten back there, I could have found the end. But I wasn't sure which way. But I had a concept that it was that direction. So, so we started walking. And at one point, my grandfather turned in a direction that I was sure was incorrect. I think he turned right, and so I therefore made three lefts to make up for it. But it might have actually been the other way around. He may have turned left, and I may have done three rights. I can't remember anymore. It's been such a long time. But, but I did do that, because, because I was sure it was wrong. <laughs> and so I was like, well, he turned this way, so he turned three times the other way. <laughs> so, so I did do that. And eventually, we were walking along, and eventually there was, I, I wasn't sure, like I said, you know, you're lost. You're in Venice. And I don't know if you've been to Venice, but the streets are quite narrow. So, um, so it feels like you're walking down the alleys. But anyway, eventually, I, I was going along, and I saw a large group of, of young folk who, uh, hmm, I'm just trying to find an appropriate word to describe them. I can't find them. They were hippies. <laughs> and I thought, they're probably going to the square. We should follow them. And they turned the way I would have turned. We got to a T section. And I was sure that the square would be the other direction, but I had already decided I must follow them. They were sure they're going to the square. And they went the opposite direction. I would have chosen them. So I followed them. And we made it to the square. So I, I chose right in following them. So, so we got back to the square. And I knew where our inn was from there, so we went back to the inn. Except, I didn't think my parents would ever think that we might find our way back to where we were staying. They might think that we might find our way back to the square. But I was afraid to stay in the square with my grandfather, you see, because he'd say, well, maybe they're this way, and he'd go walking down an alley. And I would have to go with him, and what if we really did get lost and couldn't find our way back then? So I didn't want to stay there with him. So I left grandfather at the hotel, and I went back to the square by myself. Now, you may think that's not a very wise thing to do when I was just a little girl. In fact, my mother had told me that the gypsies, if they found me, they would steal me because I was a blonde bambina. And, and that was not wise. So I thought, what can I do so that the gypsies don't steal me? This was a concern, you know? And, 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 uh, well, there was an orchestra concert. I thought, I could go watch the orchestra, but they were 12 deep there. And I thought, if I get in there to see them, they'll never see me, because I'm just down here. And I thought, I could follow after a family with kids. 
then I thought they might think I was the gypsy, right? Still one of their kids. No, and that maybe really wasn't a good idea. And he said, you know what the best thing to do when you're lost is to stay in one place and let the other people find you, especially when you're a little kid. But where could I stand in one place and not look out of place? And not look like I was lost? Because you don't want to stand there and look like you're lost. Because that's not, not safe. Well, back in those days, in Venice, there were some vendors. And of course, like I said, it was evening when we started, so it was dark by the time we found our way back. And, but when it was dark, these vendors came out. And they had yo-yos that light up. You know how cool that is when you were seven years old? <laughs> oh, yes, the lighting up is very badly. I just wanted to light a yo-yo. So I thought, children come by to see lighting yo-yos because lighting yo-yos are cool. And so, if I stand there watching the lighting yo-yo, I will be in one place. And my parents might find me, and hopefully no one will notice that I am not coming and going with the other families of children that come by to walk with the lighted yo-yos. And, and there was a couple times when I was standing there all by myself, which was a little nervous. But eventually, my mother found me, which was great. She apparently, my, she and my father had split up, and she was walking around the square looking for us while my dad ran up and down the alleys thinking perhaps we had drowned. <laughs> it is Venice, you know, some of the streets are rivers. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't think that, but uh, anyway, they got me. <laughs> and it says Venezia. Aww. Aww. 